Hello friends, how are you? I hope everyone is doing great. So today I am going to talk about Docker Compose support in Spring Boot 3.1. Okay. So since like Spring Boot 3.1, the Spring Boot provides a new module called like Spring Boot Docker Compose. So that directly integrates with Docker Compose. Okay. So I am going to discuss about that. Okay. So let's start that. Okay. Let's open the Spring Boot initializer here okay to start like one spring boot application so let's open that so i'm going to take uh, this version 3.2.0 version and after that i'm going to take the marvin build tool and this is the java language and so i just taken spring boot docker compose these are the dependencies are required so i need like web dependency and use the jpa here okay to work with the postgres so I need this data JP and the Postgres SQL driver and I need a Lombok dependency to work with setters and getters and the last one is I need to integrate the Spring Boot with the Docker Compose so I am going to play with the uh, Spring Boot Docker Compose module okay so I need this Docker Compose support dependency here okay so that's it you can generate this project and after that you can import into your IDE and I already imported this uh, project in my ID okay so first of all I need a entity class right so let's create one entity class so this could be auto generated okay and let's define the ID here so that's it and so if you want you can define generated value okay so that's it and let's create one more repository so i need repository right your product primary key type here that's it and the last one is we need to define the controller right so let's write one controller package inside this controller package i need to create product controller here right so to save the time i already created this product controller because this is straight forward it doesn't take much time okay so i just have this product controller so i just have a request mapping here api products this is my endpoint and i have like uh, two endpoints here one is like to save the product another one is to find all the products and now so to work with the spring boot application right so we need to define our uh, data source configuration properties inside this application dot properties right okay. so suppose uh, okay so let's say so you are going to deal with this uh, data source properties you have to define this data source url and the username and the password and we need to define this dialect here right so this is how you have to be defined and after that this is for like to create your um, schema okay you need to provide like either uh, either like create or update here right so but these properties are mandatory so if you are dealing with like your any data source so here i'm going to dealing with the postgres database that is the reason i just define the username and the password and the dialect is postgres sql dialect here okay and so basically if you are dealing with like uh, spring boot with docker compose right so we need to create a docker file here okay so that is docker compose file so the docker compose file basically either it could be okay docker compose that ml file or like you can provide like compose okay dot ml file right so this is how you have to define what docker compose okay uh, file so i'm going to take a docker compose dot ml file okay so basically the spring boot will look into this root directory with this docker compose dot ml file or like compose dot ml file okay so here so i'm going to define the version okay so i'm going to take uh, 3.1 version here and after that services we need to define the services here okay so my service is 
uh, let's provide the DB okay so I'm going to take um, uh, DB okay DB right so DB is basically I'm going to take image so that could be Postgres and after that I'm going to take the ports here okay I need to deal with the ports right so let's provide like 5432 okay this is uh, default port for this Postgres okay and after that we need environment here so the environment basically we need Postgres username okay and so I'm going to take uh, so Postgres here and after that we need Postgres okay password here okay so let's take password here and Postgres DB okay so I'm going to take uh, Postgres underscore docker underscore DB right so that's it so you define like here like all the Postgres related properties here right so no need to define this Postgres properties again in this application that properties file okay so uh, why so what is the advantage in Spring Boot 3.1 is okay so the Spring Boot 3.1 will auto configure this okay JPA or data source properties okay in Spring Boot 3.1 so that is the main advantage so you don't have to be defined in your application that properties are like application that ML file so the Spring Boot 3.1 auto configure that details okay so how it will auto configure so let's jump into the Spring Boot documentation so let's go over this Spring Boot 3.1 connection details okay so Spring Boot 3.1 so the Docker Compose support in Spring Boot 3.1 is built on top of the connection details abstraction so basically so what it will does is this connection details is an interface okay so extend so this connection details will extends by multiple other interfaces which model the connection to a concrete remote service for example if you are dealing with redis right so the redis connection details uh, for a connection to a redis server otherwise so if you are dealing with like jdbc right so sql uh, mysql are like postgres sql right so so it will work with like jdbc connection details for the connection to a database server through the jdbc right so here so they have added like connection details abstraction primarily to support our uh, like to new docker compose and test container features okay so this is how the jdbc connection details uh, interface will look like which will extend this connection details so this jdbc connection details will have like username and the password and the jdbc url okay so this is all the spring boot need to know in order to connect the jdbc database right so the url contains which is jdbc driver to use which host and which port to use right so these uh, details basically setting by the spring boot 3.1 by using this connection details and the jdbc connection details okay interfaces so uh, i'm going to provide this link in this description so just go over this uh, okay let's go back to our our okay application so the prerequisite is our we need to install and start the docker in our local machine okay so i already started uh, the docker in my machine okay so this is the docker desktop so you can see the docker containers here okay so let's start this application okay so it started successfully now so if you can check here okay so what it will does is basically using the docker compose file so it is searching in our root directory okay so because the docker compose.ml file is already available in the docker uh, in this project root directory and it is using the docker compose file and it is creating okay the services so it is creating and created and after that db is creating and it is created and starting started waiting healthy okay so finally it is checking the endpoint so we got like healthy endpoint here and it is started this application on 8080 okay so that's it and let's go back to our postman here okay and now so let's create some product okay 
so let's create by using this post endpoint okay so it is created successfully let's get it by using the get endpoint okay okay we got it so this is how uh, it will work now let's go back to our project and so and one more thing is uh, we can play with like docker compose life cycle as well okay so the life cycle means uh, so the application is started right so you can go back to your docker desktop here you can see the spring boot and the db contents are running right so you can check the status here right so when when the moment uh, the application will start right so the docker compose okay will start and it will start the containers and running the containers right so when you stop this application right then it will shut down the okay your containers you can see this status are exited here but i don't want to uh, um, stop this containers okay so if you want to play with like a docker compose lifecycle right so you can play here so how we are going to play so let's talk about that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create okay one application that ml file okay so this application that ml file uh, i'm going to take this spring jpa so uh, i'm going to play with this docker compose lifecycle right so let's take lifecycle management okay so we have like three values here either you can use okay none okay that means like do not start or stop your docker compose okay otherwise you can define like start hyphen only so that means like start the docker compose when the application starts and leave it running okay it doesn't stop so what if what if like if you want to like start docker compose when the application start and stop it when the jvm exit right so start okay start and sorry start and stop okay and now so we need to define okay we have a start command okay so this start command so you can provide start here and after that stop command so instead of stop what you can do is you can provide like okay down that's it right so now let's test this future okay the application has been started successfully now so let's test this okay it's working fine now let's go back to docker desktop so here you can see the docker status as running because the docker compose when the application start okay so it will start it right so when the jvm is okay stops then it has to be down the containers right so let's stop this server and let's go back to here so you can check the containers here so now there are no containers are running here okay that means the containers are like stopped here so this is how you can manage your docker lifecycle management with the help of these commands right so this is another future so let's remove this okay and go back to okay so suppose like uh, so here we have a docker compose.ml file right so if you want to deal with like multiple environments suppose uh, i don't want to use this docker compose okay so let's say i have like two environments i have a dev environment okay i'm just going to refactor as a docker compose.dev.ml file okay so i'm going to take another file okay test so this is the test environment file 
now so the thing is if you start this you will get an error because so it will search with either with like docker compose dot uh, ml file or like compose dot ml file so now we have changed this file name as dev right so to fix this issue okay so we got like issue is docker compose file not found right no docker compose compose file is found in the directory so to fix this issue basically we have a two ways okay so the first way is okay we have to be define docker compose file name here okay so what i'm going to do is docker compose uh, so i'm going to take the dev ml file okay so you can define docker compose dev.ml file so the specific environment file if you want to define you can just define here okay now it will pick docker compose dev.ml file right so it is started and so like uh, waiting for like containers to start so docker containers may may take like time to install or start right so by default the spring boot waits for like all the services and containers to start so uh, so here note that a container is considered ready when the tcp ip connection can be established to its mapped port right so if you want to turn off this behavior for a particular containers like so we can use um, like a readiness check like tcp disable property is there so we can make use that property okay so let's go back to the docker compose that dev file okay so here we need to define okay the label okay and labels here we need to define that spring book uh, spring framework okay boot readiness check tcp disable is equal to true okay so with the help of this okay if you want to turn off this behavior for a particular container so we have to define like this right okay let's restart this application okay so test it finally okay we don't have any data so let's create some data here okay and let's get okay so like this you can uh, use like this properties here okay I hope like I covered like all the futures okay if I miss anything please let me in the comment section if you like this video please go ahead and like if you haven't subscribed my youtube channel please go ahead and subscribe my youtube channel thanks thanks for watching bye have a good day